going on out there, YouTube? This is SEL0320 representing JVS. I'm back here again for a review, a spoiler filled review for The Vampire Diaries Season 7, Episode 21. We got one more episode left, and then it's going to be the season finale. Now, what did I think about this episode? I'm about to go into that. All I can tell you is that I gave it a 10 out of 10 for a lot of specific reasons. This is going to be a spoiler filled review. So if you have not seen the episode, which I highly recommend you do, even if you're going to have to watch it tomorrow, CWTV.com, go take this, put in your watch later, come back to it because I'm about to spill some pretty heavy stuff. And I, I don't, I know for a fact, I won't be able to touch everything because everything that was happening in this episode meant something for once. <laughs> um, so essentially, it begins with Bonnie literally waking up, and it was the biggest shock for me. I, that's one thing I want to make sure I do the reaction for. And she just proceeds to kill Enzo. And then she lives off <laughs> Caroline's head just for Damon to look and like be afraid. And you find out that this is what's going on in her mind. Her mind is literally altering her subconscious because she's being changed into this hunter. Like she's purged with all these different thoughts of vampires being so vengeful, being so spiteful. And it's, it's kind of like the Jeremy situation. Matter of fact, Jeremy might actually be the best person to really kind of knock her out of this now that I think about it. Even though I am a huge Bane and Shipper, which I'll go into that scene a little bit later, but she's definitely going through what what um <clears throat> what Jeremy went through, you know what I'm saying? Well a lot of people went through in a lot of different regards. Cause I mean, she's gonna be an unstoppable force, but she's trying to keep herself contained. She wants to die. She doesn't want to live. And it's like when Caroline went into her mind and tried to, you know, bring her back, so to speak, and like just for her to like lash out and reassess Caroline's own foundation is like okay yeah so you have daughters you call them your daughters but yet you're a vampire what point are you gonna hurt them and it's like dang you know even Enzo's like Enzo's was a really it was a touching moment like when he went into her mind and tried to you know tell her she's like I can't like I love you and I'd be daggone if I'd come out you know something else I'd rather die here and I was like dang you know, and what was so bad, you know, he tried to stop her and he, she just sit there. It was, it, was, it was crazy. She marked both of them. And so Damon was talking to his brother. He, to me, he gave one of the most blunt and honest advices they ever could have. He told Stefan, he's like, look, like you are better than this. Like she needs to see your love because basically what's going on with Caroline, um, Alaric and Stefan is Alaric wants to get you know, he wants to be there for Caroline. And he wants to stay there, but he knows that she's going to be in danger. Caroline's trying to get him back to get to the daughters. And it was like, it, it was a difference of opinion kind of stuff. And not just that, all this stuff is left up in the open of like where she really feel, where's her feelings really lie. She never really said she loved a lark, you know, truly. Um, matter of fact, she doesn't really kiss him either. And I think that's all based on the fact of the hurt and the pain she felt for Stephanie. But that all gets hashed out. And this amazing conversation, it never would have happened if Damon hadn't have told Stefan what he said, because baby Stefan was like, yeah, Bravane, I'm taking you out of here. Because Alaric had left, and after she got marked, he's like, I'd be daggone if you die, basically. And he pulled to me a classic Damon moment, because Damon does that for people that he loves. He doesn't care the ramifications of how that lies, but he, he, he goes where the chips crash. It doesn't matter to him. And that's where that's where Stefan has been transformed to, you know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, his his relationship with everybody is totally different, even his brother. It's like he's seeking more advice from his brother, but he really is not putting up with it anymore. And it's like everybody's at a different place in their life. And even with Caroline breaking down with her girls on the phone, that was such a, a touching, rich moment. But the biggest moment to me, which I thought that Enzo was going to show up in, was when <clears throat> freaking um, Damon went into, <laughs> he went into Bonnie's mind told Bonnie basically like, yeah go ahead and die like that works for me and just to play on her rage to get her out like I was like he's the only one that could do that you know it's, she's like I don't care I'm gonna kill this man and it is crazy because she, she's out for him and the way that he spin it he made it sound like the letter was like you know, telling her, yeah, telling her off, essentially, and like, yeah, we don't matter, this, that, or the other. And to turn it all around, bringing her back to the stump where she had died, and him going through 
section by section talking about the different moments where she's died and come back and she's a warrior and she's a fighter and all these different kind of things that cement her as the foundational character we know and we love as she's trying to kill him. And he said, I don't mind dying right here, but I want you to do a couple things. I want you to realize who you are. It's not your fault. Please forgive me. And at the same time, it was like you could feel her breaking. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, he did reach her, even though he said he didn't. I think that if he would have nudged it just a little bit more and made her realize how much he loves her, how much he cares. He said he loved her. He did. I, I give him that. But he has spent his like, I love you like Elena loved you. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't know if he feels that way or not, or he doesn't understand it. But I can tell you, he could have broke that next barrier. But I was like, once Matt stepped in and helped out, and she turned that whip around. I was like, I was scared she was going to kill Matt. But I have no idea what's going to happen. All I know is I said it before. When all those whatever entities come out into that location. And to see the whole location now. Everybody basically kill themselves or dying. I was like, out of everybody, every vampire. Damon is that person that does not need to get that. Because he will be pure evil incarnate. They will not be able to stop him. Especially if he's already how he is. You know what I'm saying? So, if it's going to be a trade-off, what I'm thinking, is that he's going to let his soul be lost to be able to gain hers back. And I don't know, man. Like, I hope that that doesn't come to that, but I can see it happening. Either Enzo's going to do it or Damon's going to do it. I don't know. One or the other, but I know for a fact that both of these men love her and both of them can't be in the coexistence loving her. It's not going to work. Somebody either is going to die or somebody's mental state is going to be gone forever. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. I enjoyed this one thoroughly. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Hopefully you enjoyed my review for it. Keep it locked. JVS, we ain't going to stop. I'm about to go and post this reaction in a second. Peace, y'all.